Okay, it's the last video of the playlist, Craig, and I think I've got the sleep thing figured out. Get a couple hours of sleep, wake up, two cups of coffee, grab a nap on the train on the way to work, then another cup of coffee, then a sleep jog, 10 minute snoozer, another cup of coffee, power through the rest of the day, boom goes the dynamite. Have you been listening to the playlist at all? Uh, yeah, I have. What? We need obviously. our sleep, Matt. In this video, we're gonna find out why. Good morning. Good morning. I'm kind of nervous to find out how I sleep. Did you sleep better here than, than you do at home? Uh, maybe. Because you should sleep better at home than anywhere else. You had all these wires on your head. So yeah. it's a very weird environment to be in. And a lot of people with sleep problems sleep better here than they do at home. And that's because their home environments aren't pleasant to them. You don't like your spouse, for example, right? That person wasn't there. I love you, my fiance. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But it's a whole different environment, right? Yeah. I did have a good sleep, Matt, which is kind of rare these days. I know, you won't shut up about it. Yeah, and you know who else is getting less and less sleep? David Hyde Pierce? Yes, probably. And everyone. People are probably sleeping less. We're getting as little sleep as possible. The vast majority of human beings are sleep deprived. And we're not paying enough attention to it as much as other things like nutrition and exercise. How do we make society respect sleep the way they think of nutrition and exercise? Where we say, it's not acceptable to sleep deprive a teenager. It's not acceptable to make employees work double shifts. That's not safe. Whoa, this sounds like a real problem. It is a very big problem. According to the American Academy of Sleep Medicine, about 10% of people have insomnia and up to 30% have symptoms of insomnia. What's causing this? I don't know, but it might have something to do with how little we care about sleep. Well, I care about sleep. I know you do, but I'm talking about we as in everyone. Our civilization kind of doesn't make that a high, high priority. We've got all night television, the internet. And the thing a lot of people are sleeping is that they view sleep as an inconvenience to begin with. If you were to invent a robot to replace humans, you wouldn't make a robot that would sleep. If I offered you a medication today that said you get the benefits of eight hours of sleep but only have to sleep four, would you take the medication? I absolutely would. You didn't yeah. even ask me the side effects. Nope. You don't care. <laughs> well. Your penis could fall off, you don't I mean, care. I, would, I'm taking I would also ask that. Remind me never to get medication advice from you. Okay, good idea. Also a good idea, getting more sleep. Okay, so we're not sleeping, that's obvious. And we've talked about dreaming and how that's useful, and we've talked about what happens when we sleep. But what happens when we don't get enough sleep? Why is it so important? Well, sleep is tied into emotions and regulation of emotions, we know that. People who are not getting enough sleep tend to be cranky in the morning. First thing I tell my patients is that if we get better sleep, you'll be easier to live with. You know, back when we were roommates, there were many days that you were not easy to live with. Yep, can't argue with that one. Finally, he doesn't argue. All right, shut up for once. There are many reasons to get the right amount of sleep aside from being cranky. Oh, don't I know it. There are several problems that many studies have shown to be the result of lack of sleep, like increased likelihood of obesity. A greater risk for diabetes, heart problems, depression, substance abuse, memory retention, attentiveness, and when it comes to driving. The moment of drowsiness is red alert. Drowsiness is very easy to define. It's the moment you are aware that your eyelids are heavy or your eyelids want to close. That moment, get out of harm's way. In fact, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration conservatively estimates that 100,000 police reported crashes are the direct result of driver fatigue each year. This results in an estimated 1,550 deaths, 71,000 injuries, and $12.5 billion in monetary losses. But 25% of teenagers fall asleep in class during the week at any given point. And we know that lack of sleep is associated with increased suicide rates. Kids who don't get enough sleep are impulsive. They're emotional. The American Academy of Pediatrics this past summer specifically requested that all schools allow the students to start later. That schools should start after 8.30 in the morning. My son starts school at 7 o'clock in the morning. And it's just too early for them. People who are cynical will say, well, if you start later, they'll just stay up later. But the data is that they don't. We want the kids to get more sleep and less homework. You kids are going to love this video, aren't you? All right, I get it, we need to get more sleep, but how do we do that? Well, I'm not good at it myself, but I did do a sleep study. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, overall yeah. sleep is pretty good. F yeah! Nice Woo. work, Craig. Yeah! Real good job there. Yeah. But I think you have the potential for it to get worse as you get older. <laughs> oh. mm. Disappointing. Are you a smoker? No. Your, your oxygen should be a little higher. Asthma I have, I have asthma. Yeah, your oxygen yeah. should be a little higher. I also had 
congestion problem. Okay. You know, Matt, we're not only former roommates, but we're also bandmates, and we've toured the country, and I've had the opportunity to sleep in the same room as you, and you snore. You snore bad. No, that's Sam. No, it was you Sam. Two. You both did. Sam snores. You both did it, but I don't snore. Do you know what that is? Um, I'm gonna guess. That's snoring? Yes. No! Oh! I think it's because I'm stuffed up. That's why I was snoring. Sure. Yeah. It's totally because I was stuffed up. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Any, anyway, the breathing problems could be a sign of things to come. The congestion worries me. So you might start just getting older and the muscles in your throat getting atrophied uh -huh. when you hit middle age in your 40s or so. I'm 23 um, right now. So. I, I, in yeah. each leg, as they say. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, I'm old. Ha. So anyway, the reason I was there was to find out why I had trouble falling asleep. But while it was there, I was kind of like, ah. Uh, you kind of like, ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Now you're asleep. It took you about eight minutes to fall asleep. I think we turned off the lights. So what gives, Craig? What gives? I don't know. Dr. Paleo did say that people often fall asleep easier doing the sleep study than they do at home. It might have to do with something very important to falling asleep. Did they drug you? No. Well, I don't think so. I'm talking about being comfortable. Dr. Paleo did have some helpful things to say about that particular problem. If I were to point a gun to your head and say, Craig, stay awake or I'll shoot you, you're going to stay awake. <laughs> Right? Yeah. If I put a gun to your head and say, fall asleep or I'll shoot you, <laughs> you're gonna pretend you're sleeping, but you can't, there's a gun pointed to your head. So the key thing, if you wanna have a regular falling asleep time, is to have a regular wake up time. When you were a little boy, you probably didn't have this problem, right? Uh, well, I kinda have always had this problem. So your parents put you to bed too early? I guess so. I'll talk to my mom about that. So why did you put me to bed too early? <laughs> If we tried to put you to bed early, you wouldn't sleep, so we didn't even bother usually until, you know, 9 or 10. I was too early, Mom. I was oh. a bad mother. You were a, you were a bad <laughs> mother. There it is. She was a bad mother. <laughs> no, no, we kid, we kid. My mom was a great mom. I was just a problem child. And a problem adult. So basically, if you want to fall asleep earlier, you got to set your wake time earlier. But setting your alarm earlier might not cut it. How do you get yourself to wake up earlier? Well, duh, think about the super chiasmatic nucleus. Okay, I'm thinking about the super chiac miasma. It's a nucleus, well, I'll, I'll let Dr. Kushida explain. There's a nucleus in the brain called the super chiasmatic nucleus that is your sleep-wake pacemaker. So it sets your schedule. And that nucleus is very sensitive to bright light. So if you get a bright light in the morning, say within five minutes of getting up for about 30 minutes, that can help to synchronize your internal clock. So what he's talking about is the circadian rhythm. It's our body's biological sleep clock that all animals have. It's hardwired into us. It basically regulates when we should be asleep and when we should be awake. And it's affected by external cues like light and darkness. Aha, so bright light, keep the shades open. What else you got, Craig? Well, Dr. Paleo also had some interesting advice on how to get up early that I think all the kids will love. What I ask the kids to do is play video games first thing in the morning. That's interesting, yeah, do the fun stuff first. Yeah, I need a reason to get up in the morning. Whatever you like yeah. to do. I'll have a beer right when I get up. No, no. <laughs> okay, all alcoholism aside, those are some good ways to wake up early. But what if despite all attempts at waking up early, you still can't fall asleep early, like is my problem? Well, Craig, as an avid sleeper, I have several things that you can do. Oh, really? One, avoid bright light at least an hour before going to sleep. Reserve your bed for sleep only. No reading or watching TV. Make your bedroom a comfortable sleeping environment. Establish consistent sleep and wake schedules. Finish eating at least two to three hours before your regular bedtime. Exercise regularly. Avoid caffeine and alcohol products close to bedtime. Give up smoking. If you can't fall asleep, get up and do something that relaxes you. And write down what's bothering you before you go to sleep so you don't have to think about it. Robot apocalypse, zombie apocalypse, Robot zombie apocalypse. I don't know how to know if I'm sleep deprived. Oh really? Well actually that one's pretty simple. Good. The absolute best way to determine if you have adequate sleep is the way you feel in the daytime. You know, you should be wide awake and alert all day long. You should wake up feeling good. You should wake up feeling refreshed. Do you wake up feeling refreshed? Yeah, of course I do. What do you do? <laughs> I get a good night of sleep and I sleep with the next to a sleep doctor. That's it? So if you feel tired, that means you didn't get a good night's rest. What about all that other stuff? Other stuff? Yeah, what about that whole idea that if you wake up in the middle of REM sleep, you'll feel more groggy throughout the day? There is no evidence that waking in REM versus non-REM makes any difference that I know of. I don't think so. What about food coma? We did a study with 40 different lunches. The uh, sleepiness in the afternoon was the same for everybody, no matter what they ate or didn't eat. Or, 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 or if they didn't eat at all? Yeah. Yeah, and so what, what's like a solution? Because I, I, I get really drowsy <laughs> mid-afternoon, you know, sometimes yeah, I, I do take too, a little usually. Nap, but does that mean I'm not getting enough sleep at night or is that just something that I'm uh, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. I guess there you have it. Yeah, what else is there? 
think we've said all we need to say on the topic. Yeah, we need to get some sleep. I need sleep. They probably need sleep. You need sleep. Let's go to sleep. Let's go to bed. Wait, someone's got to do the annotation screen, though, at the end. Well, yeah, just one of us, though. Yeah, I, yeah do you want to do it? Yeah, I'm kind of tired, though. Maybe we can rock, uh, paper, scissors for I don't know. I'm, this, I, this will, yeah, this is rock, paper, scissors, okay? Uh, so, Let's go. Uh, okay, ready? okay, ready? Okay, one, one, two, yeah. on three. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, you scissors, my paper. Thank you for watching our sleep playlist. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can go to our channel and watch more playlists. There's the previous one linked right down there. And you can like this video. You can subscribe, which is linked right up there. Also, we do have a Patreon page. If you really like our show and you want to support it, you can go subscribe over there. It's linked right up there. Thank you. I usually end with a joke, but I'm just really sleepy, so I'm not going to this time. I guess that in itself was a joke, kind of. So, success.